Chapter 2 The Murray Adobe Mission Plaza The Murray Adobe gets its name from an Englishman, Judge Walter Murray. Born in London in 1826, Murray was trained as a lawyer, but when he arrived in the U.S., he took an interest in newspapers. In 1847, he came west to help defend California in the Mexican-American War and to support the Union against the Mexican Army. The war ended in 1848 with the U.S. victorious, and Murray headed to Northern California in search of gold. After two years of unsuccessful mining, Murray returned to his first passion and established the first newspaper in Northern California. In 1853, he moved to San Luis Obispo and became one of the first lawyers in our city. He purchased the adobe that same year and was only 27 at the time. The original house consisted of two rooms, but was later expanded using wood construction instead of adobe as you see in this photo. Murray and his wife Mercedes, who was of Spanish descent, made their home here. All that is left of the original house is one adobe room. Look under the arbor on the south side, you can still see the original adobe bricks that comprise that entire wall. It was this very room that served as the office for the Vigilance Committee, a group of 148 men who sometimes took the law into their own hands. Crime was rampant throughout the county during the 1850s, just like most of the towns in the early West. So a committee formed on May 20th, 1858, and came here to discuss how to restore law and order. One of Murray's letters describes San Luis as beset with evil characters and robberies are momentarily expected. There were many unsolved murders in the county, and Murray writes about the disappearance of travelers and finding dead bodies and skeletons on the roads leading out of town. At one time, a room at the mission was rented out for use as a jail until a real jail was built in 1860. A lynching tree was used frequently to punish those accused. There was an account by Murray of a group of angry citizens entering the jail one night to exact their version of justice. He wrote, That night, a party of citizens, infuriated by the enormity of the outrage committed and satisfied of the determination of the greater population to set justice at defiance by means of the mock forms of law, entered the jail and hung him. He was hung in full sight of the whole people of San Luis. In broad daylight, by the voice and assistance of all the respectable men of the county, and died acknowledging his guilt, asking pardon of his friends, and warning all malefactors not to tell their secrets, even to their own countrymen. Por que hace se pierde, said he, which means, thus you lose yourself. Time and research reveals that many of these lynchings and perceived wrongdoers were sometimes racially motivated. The Mexican and Chinese populations were often used as scapegoats. In 1869, Judge Murray co-founded the Tribune newspaper, which still exists today, and the very first edition was published and printed right from this home. It was printed in Spanish and English and reported world news, poems, stories, advice, politics, and advertisements. A contemporary of Murray's described him as, A gentleman of more than the usual ability a printer and a lawyer familiar with the Spanish and French languages. In 1968, the framed portion of this house and part of the original adobe, as well as the grist mill behind the house, were demolished by the city for health and safety reasons. Today, the Murray adobe is used as a storage facility for events here at the Mission Plaza. Which brings us to the birthplace of our city, Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa. From the Murray adobe, continue walking ahead toward the front end of the mission, We'll start again at the front steps near the fountain featuring a California bear and a Chumash Native American boy.